Cavalieri's approach is a method to calculate the volume of three-dimensional objects by using integration. Let's take a look at that approach. Let's assume you have some object K in R3. And you want to find the volume of that object K. So the object K could look like that. Ok, now you have to do the following. Let's assume you have an imaginary sword or knife and you cut through or slice the three-dimensional object K horizontally at some height Z. The result could look like that. So you cut right through the object horizontally. What you get is the following green cut surface or cross section at the height Z, which could look like that. You are interested in the area of that green slice plane at height Z. So you are interested in that area here. That area depends on the height Z and we call this area capital A of Z. It's the area of the cross section at height Z. As I said before, this area depends on the height Z. Because if you cut through the object somewhere else, the cut surface might change. For example, if you cut through the object K, at this height here, the cut surface could look like that. And you can see that the area of this cross section here is smaller than the area of that cross section here. So the area of the cross section depends on the height Z. You are interested in the area of the cut surface for each height Z between 0 and capital H. That area is given by the formula A of Z. Now that you have found that general formula A of Z for the area of the cut surface at height Z, you do the following. You have to multiply A Z with a very small variation in Z direction. That small variation we call D set. By multiplying the area A set with D set, we get a very small volume element of the object K at height Z. Here in the picture you can see what is happening. The last thing we have to do is to continuously summarize over all these small volume elements, a set times d set, from set is equal to zero to the height capital H of the object K. And continuously summarizing means that you have to integrate. So the volume of the object K is given by the integral from set is equal to zero to the height capital H of the object K of A set times D set. Let's try this out. So here we have a cone with radius capital R and of height capital H. We want to find the volume of that cone. When we cut through the cone horizontally, we get a disk. We want to find the area of the disk at each height Z. So we need the radius R Z of the disk. The radius depends on Z, because if we are near the bottom of the cone, the disk is larger. And if we go to the top of the cone, the disk becomes smaller. To find the radius R Z of the disk at height Z, we need to find the equation 
of that line here. Because this here is the radius we are looking for. That's not too difficult. We write the line as z is equal to k times r plus d and plug in two points that are located on the line to find the numbers k and d. For example, we can plug in these two points that are located on the line. So we choose the points 0, h and r, 0. By plugging in the first point, we get that h is equal to k times 0 plus d. So d is equal to capital H. By plugging in the second point, we get that 0 is equal to k times capital R plus h because d is equal to capital H. And from that here we get that k is equal to minus capital H divided by capital R. So we have found k and d. We need the radius r at the height z. So we have to solve this here for small r and get. So we solve this here for small r and we get that small r is equal to 1 divided by k times z minus d. The last thing we have to do is to plug in k and d here and there. So in the end we get that r z is equal to minus capital R divided by capital H times z minus capital H. We got that equation here by plugging in k and d here and there. So this here r of z is the radius we were looking for. Now we can write down the area a z of the disk at height z. We will just use the formula for the area of a circle. So a z is equal to small r z squared times pi, which is equal to when we insert for small r z this here, that here becomes equal to capital R squared divided by capital H squared times pi times z minus capital H squared. Now we can calculate the volume of the cone by using integration. So the volume of the cone is given by the integral from 0 to capital H of capital A z times d z. This is Cavalieri's principle. When we plug in this here for a capital A z, we get that the volume is equal to capital R squared divided by capital H squared times pi times the integral from 0 to capital H of z minus capital H squared. We can solve that integral here and get the following. Now we just have to plug in this number here and that number here in this function and subtract the second result from the first result. In the end we get the following. So this here is equal to that here. So minus capital R squared divided by capital H squared times pi times minus capital H to the power of 3 divided by 3. Now we can rewrite this a little and in the end we get that here. So capital R squared times pi times capital H 
divided by 3. So that here is the volume of a cone. And by looking in a formula book, you will see that this here is really the volume of a cone. So our solution is true. Okay, let's take a look at the pyramid that has height h and a square of length capital B as a base. We want to find the volume of that pyramid. If we cut through the pyramid horizontally, the cut surface is a square of some lengths B set. We need to find small b set to calculate the area a set of that square at height set. If we look at the pyramid from the front, it looks like that. We want to find the length x of set. So we need to find an equation for that line here. We've already done this in our last example. So I won't do the exact same calculations again. In the end we get the following result. x of z is equal to that here. So this here is the equation for that line here. As you can see in the picture, x of z is just half the length of b of z. So b z is equal to 2 times x of z, which is equal to that here. Now we can calculate the area a z of that square at height z. a z is equal to b z squared, which is equal to that here, when we plug in this here for b z. Now we will use Cavalieri's principle to find the volume of that pyramid here. So the volume is equal to the integral from 0 to capital H of capital A Z D Z. When we plug in this here, there, we get the following. By solving this integral here, we get that here. Now we just have to plug in this number here and that number here in this function and subtract the second result from the first result. So we get that this here is equal to that here. By rewriting this a little bit, we get the following. So the volume of the pyramid is given by capital B squared times capital H divided by 3. And by looking in a formula book you will see that this here is really the volume of a pyramid that has a square as a base. Okay. I hope you are now able to use Cavalieri's principle to calculate the volume of objects in R3. If you liked this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. That would help and motivate me to keep creating videos.